And just like that, I woke up in a meadow in our backyard in Germany. Recently we traveled from USA to Germany during the pandemic and here is what to expect if you are traveling from USA to Europe. Hi guys, welcome back to Jay Stefan. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and help our channel grow. And just like that, we are back in Germany and I can't describe how happy I am I think I'm at that point now where I love both California and Germany equally because when I'm in California I'm really missing being in Germany and when I'm here I miss our friends and family in California but I also realize that we have best of both worlds and I think we always need to be in check as far as being grateful to the lifestyle that we can sustain for the moment and I hope we are able to sustain this lifestyle for years and years to come. In this video I wanted to discuss our travel from California to Germany, from USA to Germany and I had seen quite a few videos of YouTubers that had recently traveled from from USA to Germany and every single one of those videos was inundated with frustration, just a stressful situation that they had to go through. So that's what I wanted to discuss with you today because I think this whole travel thing is ever changing right now and uh, you just never know what you get. We had a wonderful time, but it didn't start off that way. On the day of our travel, which was Wednesday, we woke up and we called a taxi and the taxi never showed up. At that point, we had an hour and a half left to our flight. The only option left at that point was to drive ourselves to the airport because we just didn't want to wake up any of our friends and uh, family to take us to the airport. And then the plan was my sister would pick up the key from my mom and then she would go pick up our car and then park it back into our garage later that day. I dropped off Stefan at the curbside and he checked in while I parked the car. But the check-in process was very easy, very simple. So they asked for our COVID vaccine paperwork. If you didn't have the vaccine paperwork, then they asked for um, a COVID test. And the type of COVID test that you need, I think it depends on different airlines. So you would have to check what you need. Um, but that's all they asked for was either a COVID test or the vaccine records. And we had the vaccine records and we gave it to them. And that was fairly simple and it was very quick check-in. We checked in 
We got through the security pretty quickly and uh, then we were boarding our plane and we were literally the last people to board on the plane. Even though everything went pretty quickly, we just got so delayed in leaving the house that we made it there just in the nick of time. We flew United from Palm Springs to Denver, which was just a two hour flight and that was fairly easy. We got to Denver and then in Denver we had a seven hour layover which wasn't too bad because we made it into a full work day. We had access to United Lounge so that made it very easy and very convenient. We went into the lounge, we had a little bite to eat and we relaxed for a bit and then we worked for a few hours so that wasn't too bad. And from Denver to Munich, we flew Lufthansa. And Lufthansa, I have to say, has been one of my favorite airlines for a very long time. I think my favorite airline in the world is Singapore Airlines. Second favorite would be Lufthansa and third would be British Airways. And on Lufthansa, we flew business class to Munich and we didn't have to pay for the business class ticket. For the past 12 years, we've been flying only business or first class on Lufthansa and we've never bought a single ticket. And that's something that I think is worth doing a video on what we do uh, and how do we uh, get these points that we use then to buy our tickets and anyone can really do it. If you have a business that makes it a lot easier and being in the United States I think makes it a lot easier than being in Germany. If you have business or first class on a long haul flight that makes it so much easier to travel. We got to the gate at Lufthansa and that was also very simple and straightforward. It wasn't anything hectic. The only thing was that they required specific types of masks to be worn. You could now wear a cloth mask, but they provided you with that. Even if you had already checked in, had your boarding pass, you were required to check in at the counter prior to boarding. The other thing they wanted to check was records for immunization or record for a COVID test. We thought that they were very organized. After we boarded the plane and after we took off, we started with a toast to our journey, our love, our families, our friends uh, with a glass of champagne. This is what we always do on every flight. <laughs> Then we had wonderful food. I think I'm probably one of the very few people that actually enjoys airplane food. So does Stefan. Him and I both love airplane food. And the food was so good. To start off for the appetizer, I had a cold ratatouille and it was so good, guys. It was so good. I could eat that every single day and I would not get bored of it. It was so good. I've never had a cold ratatouille and I actually prefer cold ratatouille now. <laughs> For dessert, I actually ordered two desserts because why not? I had a cheese plate, which was delicious. And then I also had a fruit plate, which was a slice of mango and a slice of papaya with a spice blend on top. It was perfect. It was so good. And after the dinner service, I had another glass of wine and that just put me out. I changed my clothes, I made my bed. just fell asleep. We were knocked out. I slept for a good four hours 
and I was so rested after that. I woke up and I ended up watching a movie about Ted Bundy and I thought that was actually a very interesting movie, really well done. And for breakfast, I had an omelet, which was also really good. And then all of a sudden, it was time to land. on time and once we deplaned it was nice to see that all of the restaurants were open I'm not sure all but most of the restaurants were open and we could see that people were setting up the duty-free shops that were not open and we saw one sign that said that they will be opening in two weeks and I think that's nice you know um, that people can finally go back to their jobs again and feel somewhat of you know, a normal life again. And the immigration process was very quick. There wasn't huge lines and that went by really, really quick. And at the immigration, they also asked for immunization or COVID test records. We showed it to them and that was it. There was like no additional questions asked. We went through. So anyways, we are here in Germany. I am so happy that I'm here. And if any of you have any questions about travel during the pandemic from USA to Germany, hit me up, let me know, comment below or send me a message and I will answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.